Now it's time to program one of the most famous formulas, the quadratic formula. So we're going to go to program, new, and I'm just going to call it quad. And you could call it quad, but rat quadratic won't fit. Um, so go ahead, quad, and then we're going to do program. Again, display, so we could tell the user what we're asking for. And I'm going to put it in terms of the, what the quadratic formula looks like. So the quadratic formula, when they enter it into here, we need a, which is the coefficient for the x term. We're going to do bx plus c. And then under the test menu, so second math, there's actually an equal sign. We want to show the user that this formula needs to equal zero in order for them to be able to put it into our formula. So now we're going to ask prompt for A. We're going to prompt for B. And we're going to prompt for C. Now it's time to actually do the formula. So we're going to start off with the determinant. So the determinant um, is what's under the radical. So we're going to do b squared minus 4 times a times c. And we're going to store that to d for determinant. Now this is where we need to actually add some extra programming, OK? And it's because if that determinant equals 0, we're going to get no real answers. So um, we're going to do an if-then statement. So it's under program, and it's the first thing. So we're going to say if d, and again, under test is where I find the equal or the um, inequality sign. So we're going to do if, if it is less than 0, we want to display no real answers. So no real R E A real answers A N S. Um, and then we're going to do if D and under the test menu, now we're going to do greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to zero. Then we can actually calculate the formula. So um, to, to do the formula, we get two answers. So you're going to do negative b plus the square root of the, the determinant, which we already found, b squared minus 4ac. So we're just going to call that D, oh, not L, D. <laughs> um, and then we do that divided by 2A. And we're going to store that to the first answer, which we'll just call S. Then we do that again for the, uh, the negative. So it's going to be negative B again, but this time it'll be minus the square root of d divided by 2a and we're going to store that to t and then we just need to give our two answers so program input output we're going to display again um, x equals so the equals is under the test menu x equals and then we put our two answers so we're gonna display the variable s and we're gonna display the variable t all right so now let's give this a try the program's all done i'm gonna hit quit program I'm going to go down to quad. You hit enter to run it. And then let's say the coefficients were 1, negative 1, 
and negative 6. My answers would be 3 and negative 2. So it did work. Congratulations on programming the quadratic formula.